I want to tell you about radium. A most peculiar and remarkable element because it does not behave as it should. What kind of challenges are there into making someone's life, like their full breadth of experience? Like we saw a huge chunk of Marie's life here, like down into a story. First of all, you have to take, you know, the moments of life that are really very important, you know, like is a turning point or a symbolic of something, etc. These these are the moments that you take because obviously you cannot tell the whole of life story of someone. But then you know to really uh, make it be uh, real. Actually, you know, I started reading lots of biography, etc. But you know, a biographer they have the interpretation of the character. So I, I was actually very focused on her diary and on her correspondences like the word that she used. To give you an example, when she's nominated, she becomes the first female professor in the Sorbonne. She writes, some imbeciles came to congratulate me. She calls them imbeciles. So it, it gives you, you know, an idea of who she is because she calls them imbeciles. She's not flattered. So you know that she does not want medals. She does not want applause. And if she thinks people are imbeciles, so then she says it. And what I love about her is exactly that because she's odd, she's complex, and she's a difficult person. But if you're a genius, you are a difficult person. But if you're a male genius, it's very easily accepted. You know, you're a man genius, obviously, you know, you will be difficult. When you're a woman, we always have to be sweet and smooth and convenient and what have you, uh, which is not possible if you're the only person in the world to have two Nobel Prizes in two different fields. You are focused, you are passionate, you are busy. So you don't have the time to think, does my neighbor like me or not? Basically, you don't care at all. So this is who she was. And I love her for that because she's not fishing for love. There are those that say that radium is making them sick. The question can be raised whether mankind benefits from knowing the secrets of nature. The film is full of these like flash forwards to how radiation has been used over time. And most of them are pretty harmful. Um, there's some exceptions. Um, overall, do you think that radiation has done more harm than good? No, I don't think so. I think radioactivity is not a invention, it's a discovery. You know, it exists in the nature, so that exists. Uh, the, the radioactivity in itself is not something bad or something good, like, you know, the, like the first man who found the fire. The fire in itself is great, but it can burn everything, but it can make you a very good meal too. So it's the usage that we make of what we have. So the problem is not the scientists, it's the ethic of the society, it's the human beings. So this discovery, if it was not made by them, it would have been made by somebody else. But you know, the first thing that they used it for was actually to cure cancer. You know, that was the illness, that a disease that everybody knew for 2000 years since the ancient Greek until the beginning of the 20th century. And basically nobody knew how to cure that. And they found the cure for the cancer, which is used up till today. But you have the atom bomb too, and this is the reality. But it was impossible for me, you know, to make a, a film about a woman who is a scientist without talking about the science and talk about the science without talking about the aftermath of the, the science when it had changed the world so much. So it was the story would have been complete only we, if we had all this element in it. This is my fight and I will win it. 